Welcome to PreMath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue polygon, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these uh, horizontal uh, sides are uh, 2x uh, and uh, 3x uh, respectively, whereas this uh, vertical uh, side is x, and this uh, distance from one point to another point uh, is uh, 40 units. And moreover, this side, uh, this side, and this side are congruent. And likewise, uh, this side, this side, this side, and this side are congruent as well. And please bear in mind that all these uh, angles uh, are uh, 90 degrees uh, each. And now our task is to calculate the area of this blue polygon and the perimeter of this uh, blue polygon uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box to make our job simple. And I have constructed uh, this horizontal and vertical uh, sides. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, A, B, C, as you can see. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, side uh, is uh, 2 times x. So I'm going to write down 2 times x over here. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, is going to be 2 times x uh, as well. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, is equal to this segment. So therefore, this segment is uh, x. If this segment is x, uh, then uh, this uh, segment is going to be x as well. So therefore, we can see that this uh, whole uh, side AB is going to be x plus 2x is going to give us uh, 3x. And likewise, uh, this whole uh, side BC is going to be x plus 3x is going to give us uh, for x and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, abc and now we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is 40 whereas our two other legs are uh, 3x uh, and 4x let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula so we got uh, 3x uh, whole uh, square plus likewise uh, for x uh, whole square equals to 40 square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 9x uh, square plus 16x uh, square equal to 1600. And if we combine the like term, that's going to give us 25x square equal to 16. Uh, and now we are going to divide both sides by 25. So therefore, x square is going to be equal to 64. And I'm going to undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So therefore, our x value turns out to be positive 8 units. So thus we figured out our x value as 8. And now we are going to substitute that uh, x value 8 over here. So 3 times uh, 8 is going to give us uh, 24. Likewise, if we replace this x value with 8, that is going to give us 2 times 8 is going to give us 16. And likewise, uh, this side x uh, is going to be 8. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this side is 16. So therefore, this congruent side is going to be 16. This side is going to be 16. And this side is 16 as well. And likewise, if this side uh, is uh, 8, then this side is going to be 8. Uh, and this side is going to be 8 uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the perimeter of this uh, blue polygon. In other words, uh, we are going to simply add uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, blue polygon. So let's go ahead and add up all those uh, individual uh, side lengths. So I'm going to add 16, 
plus 16 plus 16 plus 8 plus 24 plus 16 plus 8 and plus 8 as well and if we add all these numbers that is going to give us 112 units so thus the blue polygon perimeter turns out to be 112 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue polygon as well and in this uh, next step i have divided this uh, blue polygon into three regions uh, this uh, green one this blue one and this uh, yellow one and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, tiny segment uh, is uh, eight uh, units and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area is always equal to length times the width for this uh, rectangle our length is 24 and our width is uh, 8 so therefore the area of this uh, rectangle is going to become 192 square units likewise uh, for this uh, blue rectangle our side lengths uh, are uh, 16 uh, and uh, 8. So therefore the area of this rectangle is going to be 128. And now let's recall the area of square formula as well. Area equal to S square where S is the side length. So therefore uh, for this uh, green square our area is going to be 8 times uh, 8 is going to give us 64. So therefore our this uh, blue polygon area is going to be the sum of these uh, three individual areas 192 plus 128 plus uh, 64. So therefore I can write uh, 192 plus 128 plus 64. And now we are going to add up all these uh, three individual areas. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, blue polygon is going to be equal to 384 uh, square uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, blue polygon turns out to be 384 uh, square units. Whereas the perimeter of this very same uh, blue polygon turns out to be 112 uh, units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.